So we are at the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston, and I have the pleasure of being with Miss Justina Crawford, and she is the manager of lectures, courses, and concerts. God, I'm glad you said that because I don't know if I'd have remembered all of that. Now, Justina, um, obviously we are going to be having a big dance competition here in September and some of our um, visitors are actually going to be coming to the MFA. But can you give me a, a sense of why we're actually here tonight? Sure. On um, Thursday, April 27th, we have a Beauty and the Beast remix called Be Our Guest at the MFA. And so we have um, about four to five speakers um, who are, I would classify them as young professionals or up and coming uh, curators and talented artists um, who are part of our museum. And they will be speaking about four to five objects from our collection that connect to the theme of Beauty and the Beast. Right. So we have a series of objects that we're highlighting from across the MFA um, that connect to the theme of Beauty and the Beast. So for example, we have enchanted household items. There's even a Cogsworth. We're calling him the grandfather Cogsworth that we'll be talking about. There's Renoir's um, Dance of Bougival, which is behind us. Um, and we're incorporating a waltz performance with that. Um, in addition, we have a playful table setting. So again, it plays off the theme of the enchanted household items. Um, we have the mirror, which um, mimics the enchantress. And also there's the mirror that's a part of the story and um, a few more elements such as a be our guest um, sing-along that will kind of culminate um, the entire event so it's 90 minutes that are jam-packed. Now I hear that they cannot sing too loud because it may <laughs> actually affect some of these rather old paintings. Well, we'll actually be inside of Riley which is like a small um, intimate I want to call it a multi-purpose space so we'll be able to sing loud and encourage people to sing loud as well. Oh. Okay. Now, uh, have you ever actually had a dance dance performance in one of these galleries, or is um, this is this? We've had music, but I don't believe dance. Um, so this is this is an experiment. We're calling it a pop up performance, where we're okay. hoping to delight um, 50 people that will be participating in the program. So they have no clue that this is going to happen. They're thinking that you know we're just going to be talking about objects that are at the museum, and then all of a sudden people are going to start dancing. Two objects are going to pop up right. and do some sort of waltz-like right, performance. Right. Okay, well, hey, we are so happy to be part of this yes. groundbreaking event yes. at the MFA, and thank you for taking the time to actually talk to us. Yes. So guys, if you want to know more about this, please log on to dancebeat.com. Thank you, Justina. Thank you.